Hey guys, all right, so it's Elle here to do just a random read for you guys. I keep getting this emperor coming up. I don't know, off camera, I was getting that maybe some of you have some type of, some man, some masculine energy. This is definitely a man here. It was doing like some type of ritual, binding ritual spell. I don't know if, if this man linked up with a woman to do this against another feminine energy. Let's see what the cards have to say because it, it, that emperor kept coming out. It looks like this person, whomever did this, is under judgment. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. If you feel like you have been at a halt, a standstill, okay, um, this, could, this reading could be for you or someone ha may have done like a binding ritual on you, maybe, or just a stop ritual. They just wanted you to stop, you know, stop what you were doing, stop progressing. Um, and they could have also gotten with another energy and they're either doing this in terms of ritualistically, like, um, you know, actually doing spells, or this is just what they always talk about, how they they want you to stop or you need to stop or you you should stop you you're not you know just really putting that negativity out into the universe um so much that some things have maybe slowed down for those who are not protected all right so um let's keep let's let's see what the cards have to say what do you have to tell the collective all right let's see yeah, seven of wands. Some of you uh, and the magician coming out. Yep, with the ace of wands. So we know that the wands are about magic. You you make a magical wand, right? So um, the seven of wands here. It's like somebody. Uh, somebody it could be doing blocking spells now. You know, um, maybe they have become abreast to somebody's magic or some the words that they're speaking or, or how somebody's trying to be crafty and uh, resourceful and maybe even use other people uh, maybe even have garnered a bit of knowledge about rituals and magic here somebody got wind of it somebody's got wind of somebody's um, motivation what they were what they were trying to do okay let's see um again masculine energy the the magician says raw masculine energy whenever you're you're thinking man or woman whenever you're thinking you're in your masculine okay when you're creating, when you're abundant, when you're nurturing, when you're giving, you're your feminine energy, okay? So uh, it looks like the, uh, some more masculine energy. We've got a man on this card also. Uh, we've got somebody here who, their, the, their magic was also to get your attention and to keep your attention um, maybe on them. This also could have been sex magic here. With the seven of wands too, it talks about a destructive influence. So it's like maybe this person wanted to, they didn't want you to ever build anything or construct anything. They wanted you to just um, always be at a certain place. Again, binding or just no movement at all. Like really binding you down or just stagnation. I don't know, some of you got wind of this person doing this and you kind of started to maybe, you know, up your game in terms of protecting yourself and having your own, doing your own rituals. Yeah, Ace of Cups, spiritual. You get like some spiritual clarity. You could even be doing moon magic with all the moon cycles here. Maybe in terms of protecting yourself or you need to do this, okay? This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In one to 11 days, you just see something, uh, you can get a message or something manifest that maybe um, you, you know that this person was doing something behind the scenes. Yeah, the magician, um, excuse me. I said the magician again. Somebody was trying to be the magician behind the scenes that maybe a Piscean person, feminine or masculine. Again, it's stagnation. You may get wind that this person was trying to stop you. I don't know if this person um, got a hold of your birth chart or looked you up or got a reading on you. And then they know that maybe you're about something and you were moving on. It looks like whatever, somebody's magic here 
it's taking no effect or not, it's not affecting anything with the four of swords, excuse me, the four of cups. Somebody's still at peace, at rest, still moving forward. The six of swords is about moving forward. You got a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but Pisces coming up highlighted here. You got somebody here who was really trying to stop movement. Maybe from you moving away from them that wanted to come out. King of King of Cups. Somebody was doing sex rituals, whether you were there or not, or while you were having sex. Somebody wanted your energy back. They wanted you to return. They wanted you to go backwards. Somebody was coming against your money too. I'm feeling like it's more than one person with the seven of wands there. Somebody just wanted you to be in this real emotional, dreamy state and not move forward and not make any real concrete moves. Maybe they wanted you to be chasing love and focused on love or they wanted you to be focused on them and falling in love with them and getting them and um, you guys riding off into the sunset or waiting for some proposal from them, even when they had other people. It's like this person really, really wanted to stagnate you either in love or finances or both. It keeps coming up the queen of pentacles. Yes, somebody wanted to. So this could be the father of your children, if you have any. Or this could be someone who saw you as very abundant. It's like they wanted to kind of um, put a cap on that, put a hold on that. You know, they didn't want your money to flow freely, but they wanted it to maybe trickle in or not come in at all. Yeah, this, um, th these people or this person, it keeps coming out. Yeah, they wanted to. So and then she's always, she's about earth magic too. So some, some of these people doing earth magic or yeah, they were doing some magic to maybe um, scatter your finances, have you always in a place of working real hard to um, keep things up in the air, keep you in a place of having to have more than one job. You never really having um, some level of security or financial stability. They were trying to come against your money again. The two of pentacles, they were, uh, they wanted you always, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, moving money. They didn't want anything concrete for you because the Two of Pentacles talks about things being up in the air. Let me get this other deck. Yeah, this person or these people, um, I, I feel like they're not going to get the last laugh, though. Um, something is happening because off camera when I was shuffling, um, off camera when I was shuffling, uh, these people were coming under judgment by way of spirit. And I even asked if it was spiritual judgment, you know, and, and it was like, yeah, like these people are getting what is due unto them, you know, so they're not even going to, um, they're not going to reap, well, they're going to reap what they sow, they're not going to reap anything good, anything positive. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I don't know why I was prompted to get this deck, but I was. All right, let's see. It just seems as if somebody was just like in the energy of a... Maybe even doing love spells. Somebody could have been physically abusive or trying to be, or maybe, um, again, love spells wanted to make you love sick over them, or they were love sick over you. Okay. Again, like they may have gotten tarot card readings on you. Yeah, they could have gotten tarot card readings on you. Just they didn't even have a they didn't have real intentions for the relationship. They always have more than one person. They don't do well with one on one connections, but they didn't want you to leave. Okay. Let me see what else is going on here. Why why this came up in my spirit? I rarely do readings like this. Um. You have you blocked this person altogether, 
either you physically block them on all types of media, your phone, email, or it's just that you block them out of your mind. You block them out of your heart space. Like they couldn't reach you, you know? And this person, again, somebody was doing spells just to get your attention and keep your attention, keep your focus on them. Okay. This one to show his face, Black Witch. So maybe they, they hooked up with somebody. They came in contact with somebody that was helping them do these, um, these bad rituals and trying to curse you and try to stagnate you. It looks like they didn't do, they didn't want to do anything that would, you know, hurt you in terms of take you out, take you out of this world, but more so just to slow everything down. So maybe you would turn around and come back to them or reach out to them, or they just wanted you in a place of uh, destitution of just being despondent in the world. Like they wanted you to always stick around. I'm never getting a divorce. They wanted you to always just be there. Um, like a little lap dog. I don't know. It's like addicted to your love or addicted to love altogether. Yeah, this could have been a group of people, Mean Girl Club. It could have been a group of women. Yeah, because they saw that you were a super independent lady. Okay, because I really feel like they were doing this to a feminine energy. Um, it could be that um, they were doing this to, a, you know, it was masculine on masculine energy like um somebody was doing this to him and also they see that you're absolutely gorgeous but you um whomever you are you've been having some vivid dreams about this um that maybe somebody else's money they wanted to get you fired from your job okay somebody else's money could be messed up right now too they wanted to get you fired from your job they wanted you your money just to slow down because they didn't value anything OK, and they wanted you to be hanging on to thinking that they would really, you know, make a, an honorable commitment to you, a proposal to you. The only proposal they are making is an indecent one to you. Um, this person could be um, getting what is owed to them, or what's due to them. Currently, they could be getting used and they know it, you know, like they could be getting used for their money, for their sex, for their time or whatever it is they have to offer. Um, they know it. They don't care. They could be dealing with somebody who's lazy, who uh, maybe cheats, does some late night creeping. And this person, whomever they're with, they're jealous of you, okay? And these people who was doing this magic or this person, I feel like it's a ringleader. And then it's other people. Yeah, they just can't get over you. Get over the fact that you're not talking to them, whether it's friend groups or it's romantic. Uh, they just can't get over you you know they need help um they could even feel like you know um your love your sex was the best they ever had and they do mean the best ever um uh, they feel like the chemistry between you was it, it was off the charts that's because somebody showed up genuine and somebody showed up disingenuous now this person's maybe financial physical mental emotional help health is declining they could be physically fighting with their person. Somebody could be spending a whole lot of money or taking their money. This person can't even focus on children or things that they're responsible for. Um, yeah, they just can't even be responsible. They can't keep steady. They're under their own spells that they meant for you. The, this is crazy. It's funny how somebody will, okay, you dig a ditch for somebody. You better dig one for you, too. Ain't that how the saying go? I don't understand people who do negative rituals on people. I just, for the life of you, they, I mean, even some of these spells will even warn you before you even perform them. If you do this, it can backfire on you. You can reap all of this either now or later. I just don't understand. I mean, just learn to get over it. Whatever this person did to you, whatever they are doing, uh, learn to move forward, block them and get over it. Go get the help you need because when you withdraw your energy, um, especially if this is like, you know, revenge, this doesn't feel like revenge. This just feels like somebody finally left a situation. Why is this person doing magic on, uh, the quarant on the people who come for the reading three of pentacles 
Um, they want to work with you again. They want to be back in your presence. They want, they once again, they feel like the chemistry is off the charts. They feel like you are their divine masculine or divine feminine. They feel like God brought you, you two together and they want this back. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. They want this back. They want this real thing back. Once again, somebody showed up in a relationship genuine. The other person showed up disingenuous. You got to think about it. Like, if you get paired with somebody to do a task, to roll a boulder up a hill, you you come to do the task to roll the boulder boulder up the hill and you really work do the work you're pushing i mean you're sweating you're, you're trying to do this and the other person they might push here and there they you know it's they let you do all the work you know they came to to this task disingenuous they came to the task saying i'm gonna let this person do all the work and look at them doing all the work now when it's over okay when the task is over who is going to miss the other person especially if there's something else to complete the person who was genuine who came hard working and had a great work work ethic they're not going to miss the other person they're gonna be like great good riddance i'm so happy that they're going the other way but the person who you know knows that person's uh character their work ethic that they're genuine, that they're genuinely maybe a good person, they're going to miss the other person. They're going to want to hold on to that energy. And it seems like in this reading, you got some of that going on. You got somebody here who um, they know they ain't shit and they know they had the shit. They had the person that was everything. And it's like, I got to do anything to either get the person back, keep them stuck or stagnant. Um, yeah, get them back, keep them stuck or stagnant. That's it because I don't, I'm not gonna find anybody like that but again. So this is why this person is doing magic against you. They want the opportunity to grow something with you too with the Ace of Pentacles. They, they also want the opportunity to sleep with you. They've come to some psychological understanding again of your worth. Pentacles have worth. Seven of Wands, again, they're trying to, that was the first, one of the first cards out. They're trying to get your attention and maintain your attention. They're trying to come in and destruct whatever you have constructed. They're not going to add to, they're not going to be valuable. They're not going to add an addition to what you are, have built for yourself, the stability you have, or whether it be emotional, mental, uh, financial. No, they're coming to destruct like a wrecking ball. Okay. So this is what this person is. Why? This is why they're doing magic. And, um, it could be a uh, Leo energy. It doesn't have to be. Let's see. King of Pentacles, again, they're coming because they want to be systematically over you. They want to be with you. They want to be the provider. They want to be your protector. They want to be the one that you run to. You got a lot of masculine energy coming up. Um, they understand your your value too. That you know, it just makes sense to be with you. You're practical, you're rational. You again, you just genuine. Judgment showing up again. They're also under judgment for the the simple shit that they've done, the spells that they've done, the things that they said, oh, they, they bring your name through the mud and they're under strict judgment. Okay. They can't even sleep at night. They can't even sleep at night. They want to be, you know, they want absolution. They want to be absolved of all the shit that they've done. They want forgiveness. They want forgiveness from the spiritual realm. They want forgiveness from you. They know that things are not going right in their life because they didn't do right by you. They didn't do right by you while you weren't even in their presence, while you weren't even focused on them. They continue to, to, um, her antagonize. What is the advice for, um, the quarant, the person who's coming to the reading? All right. What is the advice? before the person is coming to this reading. Uh, whoo, whoo, whoo. Spirit said it's all true. And maybe something happened on your birthday or it will. Yep. And they come into their rational ass mind because they were out of their mind. Yeah, they could be texting you soon. They were out of their mind to think that um, you wouldn't find out. They were out of their mind to not see your value. Again, that's a green card. Green is 
typically about the earth and money, tangible things, valuable things. They saw, <laughs> now they understand you're an earth angel. They love the way you dress. You're a fashionista. You, your business is growing. You, you mind your business too. You could care less what these people or this person is doing, but they care everything about what you're doing and how you're doing it and who you're doing it with. Yeah. Resourceful. But this is finished. This person is a liar, a fraud, a con man. Everything they say is all cap. It's just a lie. But they know that you're, see, what they have not found are the qualities that you possess. They have not found this in any other woman or any other man that you're caring, that with you, secure, there was security. Now their money is effed up. I can't make this stuff up because of, look at the next card. I can't even get it out because of the magic that they've done. And you're seeing right through their ass. It could be a Caucasian male. It doesn't have to be. Um, they could be with someone I heard that is unkind to them. That is possessive, has them on some real restrictive uh, behaviors and they have to sneak around. They don't like this separation from you. They feel like it's unfair or you're being unfair. You're typically soft. They're with an irrational, loud mouth and maybe even a thug that be sexting everybody else and giving everybody they love. Mm. Well, good luck to them. I say, um, if you have not done any protection work and you feel like, you know, things are against you, you can go to my website. You can get some black candles. Uh, I've blessed them. Uh, they should be under L's Market. So you go to the website, click L Market, and you'll see the black candles there. Um, take advantage of that. Burn a black candle. Carve this person's name into it and so that you're protected from this energy because this person is at this point obsessed with you because um, they're, they're obsessed with you because your nature. And they're not finding this in anybody else, okay? So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, you can also go over to the website, get your own personal reading to ask questions. Is this person doing magic on me? Have they done magic on me? Uh, what do I need to do? Um, so forth and so on. You can also ask a question or two by just texting your question to the number below. You can donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. Um, Thank you guys. Many blessings to you again. Take care.